Hello everyone, my name is Clever Fool. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful holiday. Today I'll be playing the final episode of Cotton Con titled A New Home. We'll also be going for an achievement called He Won't Be Back, where I believe we have to uh, assist in I think I think we assist Bella and defeat uh, Frederick before 45 minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. After we left Hungary, weakened and defenseless, the Mongols invaded defeated King Bela and his army, and devastated the country once more. The kingdom is in such a poor state that refugees say that the church bells in Hungary have been quiet for weeks, and wild animals now roam the streets of the cities. King Bela fled to Austria, where Duke Frederick used the king's weak position to extort land and make him swear fealty to the Holy Roman Emperor. Just like us, King Bela fell for the treachery of the Austrian Duke and the Hungarian nobles. Our people stand at the crossroads. We received a letter from King Bela pleading with us to return to Hungary and help him deal with those who wronged us. Many of our leaders are not convinced and still wish to go to Bulgaria. It is not an easy decision, but it is I who have to make it. For I am the new Great Khan of the Cumans, and they depend on my wisdom. I am no Kotian, but I will follow in his footsteps and ensure the survival of our people and their legacy. Something which he had fought so hard for. Right, our main objectives are to follow the Cuman chief to the Danube River. Our hints tell us that the Cumans are restricted to a population limit of 150 and cannot build docks. The Hungarians under King Bela will actively participate in the fighting, so protecting them is in your best interests. The many Hungarian villages provide resources to whoever controls them. They will produce fewer resources as more buildings within them are destroyed. Either help King Bella conquer them, or burn them to the ground to deny your enemies additional resources. There are still Cumans in Hungary. If you find them, they will join you. We take the Bulgarian route. The Bulgarians have been weakened by recent rebellions and weak rulers, so do not expect very much help from them. They will occasionally provide you with conics, however. The city of Nezabar is being supplied by sea, so starving its defenders out is impossible. Because we can't build docks. Only with a full frontal assault can you breach its strong walls. Your scouts report that a large body of Cuman horsemen in Sion has assembled and is ready to cross into Bulgaria. To the west lies Hungary. King Bela in blue has launched an offensive against Frederick, Duke of Austria in red, and the rebellious Hungarian nobles in orange. The Austrians field an army of knights, pikemen, crossbowmen, and Teutonic knights. While the rebellious Hungar Hungarians will train crossbowmen, pikemen, longswordsmen, and light cavalry. Yeah, sounds like we can light these guys up with our cavalry archers here. Bulgaria lies across the Danube River to the southeast. The Bulgarians in gray have recently lost the city of Nezabar to the Crusaders of the Latin Empire in yellow. And need your aid to retake the city. The Latin Empire relies on an army of knights, skirmishers, throwing axemen, and pikemen. Rumor has it that another Cuman Khan is roaming the Balkans. Perhaps he is willing to join forces with you. The Byzantines, in purple, have lost the city of Constantinople to the Latin Empire and remain unable to retake it. Regardless, they seem to have regrouped and are now re trying to retake the land they had previously lost. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Our troops are ready to sail across the Danube. The Bulgarian Tsar is expecting us. Please do not leave. It was the Austrians and my rebellious noblemen who were responsible for the murder of Gotian. Help me make them pay for their betrayal. I fear our paths separate here. We cannot forgive the Hungarians for what they did to our people. We will go to Bulgaria instead. 
Okay, so we need to choose this option in order to get the achievement. I am glad that you have decided to join me in arms. We will make these Austrians and rebellious nobles regret their dishonesty. Let's move to the flagged area with the cart, since that is how we're going to get our starting resources. The villagers in this region will provide us with resources if we can keep them under our control. Salir and Cheta. Barul Hatch, Kesar, Al Hatch, Kesar men. Let's build a TC with these villagers and begin booming. And in the meantime, use our forces here to start baiting these guys out. So that you should go on stone so that we can get a new TC soon. And start producing TCs here. And yeah, first you can go on wood, let's have you go on berries. Probably wipe these guys by himself. We're about to have a hundred stone. Right, let's capture this fort. We have 100 stone, let's build a second TC here. Start getting enough for a third. And continue our boom. Khan narrowly escapes death. It seems that King Bella still conspires with the pagans. He forgets that he bent the knee to me once before. Okay, we can heal up a little bit. Let's actually heal up in their castle, and then we'll focus on taking that western side. We have plenty of wood for another TC over here. And our initial wood, aside from the TCs, will be going towards farms. Uh, plenty of time. We need to also think about uh, not getting ourselves housed here. Get more villagers out. Guys are almost fully healed. Salam. Kururmen. Ewet. Kururmen. Buruhanas. Kururmen. 
Okay, guys are healed. Let's run them back up here. Take that tower. Boom going. Let's actually scout out a little bit more to see if we can find another cart. Keep build production coming in. And continue our boom. Okay, bill count is steadily increasing. Let's build a blacksmith at the front. Ooh, nice. We got some units. Let's bring them up and around. Training bills, no idle time, please. Get a couple more on stone so we can get a castle soon. Let's grab crop rotation. Oh, that is a lot of enemies. Well, uh, Bella, I hope you are doing good. Seems like he has the situation more or less under control. Yeah, it'll be fine, I'm sure. A-okay. Oh, we house ourselves. That's gonna slow us down. Now fortunately, we are almost at uh, our villager cap that we want. But uh, I'm gonna be going for Trebs mostly, Trebs, Cuban archers. Let's get some more gold miners actually. My proud knights defeated the fierce Mongols that invaded Austria. What chance do you think that you have against us? Let's pick up chemistry. You guys are out of berries. Let's rotate to the left. Let's get in bills. Let's 
gurur ne? Salam. Gurur nas? Eh, wajar aja itu gurur ne. Alright, so now we should shift into Kipchak production. Eh, wajar. Let's actually build a castle like up here. Amuk men. Eh, wajar gurur ne. Yeah, let's start thinking about building some stables too. As well as more housing. Amuk men, elek, elek, alhat, keser men. Let's grab conscription. Salam. Then keep chat. Let's put more vills on wood here. Amuk men, alhat, keser men. Kururnen, kururnen. And we can begin our assault relatively soon. We'll get step lancers. We need more kip tracks as well. We need, uh, what is it? We need Parthian tactics too. Let's build another castle forward. Let's grab Parthian tactics, get a couple more archery ranges in case we want to transition to heavy cavalry for the production. And begin trebbing down this castle here. I think we've got all the villagers that we need. We can begin trebbing these guys down. Now we can be in our attack in earnest. Okay, Bella is under attack. That's okay.
Elite Kip Track upgrade is on the way. That's actually our pop cat, so for now we're stymied. Capped at 150, right? Yeah, we are. Let's grab the Husser upgrade. And start making our way into these enemy lines. of monks which stinks but we should be receiving support from Bella now good we're at the 32 minute mark so we're still doing all right So that's together. Break down the gate first. Break down the gate, I said. No! Can it be? I and I alone was to rule over Austria and Hungary. You landless oh. vermin have cost me nothing but grief. And we actually already got the achievement. I thought we were gonna get need to get orange here. So that was actually quite easy. So now all we have to do is defeat the nobles. Which we should be able to do quite handily, honestly.
Oh, I still have to create them. Oh, okay. That was weird. That that made me do a double take for a sec. But okay. Now that we've popped the achievement, uh, we can actually take the rest of this pretty easy. Um, haven't been under any significant threat so far at all. I'm actually already at my pop cap too. Let's bring this cart back home. I guess we can just destroy these buildings at our leisure. Honestly, is left of the Hungarians. It's not too much, right? Can we get spies? No, it doesn't look like we need spies. And these buildings have normal amounts of HP. neutral with these guys? I am neutral with them. I guess that's why I'm not actively going after their buildings. We have plenty of resources now and no time constraint either, so we can kind of do whatever we want. plenty of resources. I imagine that this destroyed bridge would have led us to the second half. You see how this map is like split in half? It's like kind of like two scenarios in one where depending on the route that we pick we get to play a different scenario. It's kind of cool. I might go back and replay it the other way. We'll see though. I've got Bella on our team too, so I don't really see how the enemy will stand a chance. Honestly, this level is really easy for a final mission. Even getting the achievement was not so hard. All we had to do is boom up and start tripping them down. that we have finally found him. We abandoned Kotyan when he needed us most. And while we cannot undo this displace, we can assure that his legacy lasts forever. Okay, well this is a lot of units. That's some paladins, actually. I'll take it. 
We're actually way over our pop cap now, too. So this should be a pretty one-sided thrashing, honestly. Okay, we've got the Byzantines, or we've got Bella helping us still. Let's reset all these scatter points down here. And research Paladin actually, just, just, just for giggles, you know? Pathfinding. We'll end this with some style points. Let's use paladins. And mine some more gold instead of getting using wood. Get a few more trebs in there as well. Bella himself has paladins as well now. Should be winning soon enough. Uh, yeah, so this level pretty easy. Uh, reward speed again. That's something that I really liked about this mission. Um, the fact that for every mission, except for the last one, the fourth one, uh, speed, like playing quickly, is rewarded. And I really like that. I myself am a fairly slow Boomy type player with like micro. It's like I enjoy watching uh, like what's going on. So sometimes my micro is not so good. But uh, I do feel pretty satisfied when I'm able to beat a level pretty quickly, simply because the reward for pushing earlier was so great. take out this range, I think it'll just be a matter of capturing this village. Unless they give up, of course.
And once we knock down these military units, we should have the loot victory. We have dealt with the insubordinate lords that tried to destroy my kingdom. Your people have my eternal gratitude. For a moment, I thought that the Kingdom of Hungary was lost forever. But with your help, it has survived this dark time. Hungary is in your debt, humans. Nice. So stop backstabbing us, please. Much appreciated. Lovely. Cool. So uh, that was the fifth level. Um, pretty easy overall. Yes, we can. We completed the Khan campaign too. It has been years since I last saw the lands of my ancestors. Although I still often find myself awash in fond memories of my younger years on the Eurasian steppes, I do not grieve, for it is fate that has led us here. Our people have spread out to all corners of the world, leaving a strong mark on it. In Hungary, the daughter of Kotian married the eldest son of King Bela, and many of our people live there in peace now. The Cumans, who were enslaved and sold by the Mongols years ago, have carved out a new empire in the Middle East. I even heard that these Mamluks, as they are now called, have defeated the Mongol army invading Syria, halting their relentless expansion once and for all. Much blood has been spilled, I can see a bright future for the people of former Cumania. One where we, like our ancestors before us, will keep on shaping the records of history. Right, so let's go check out the map. Yeah, so we can't build docks, which is presumably to prevent us from crossing into the other por portion of the map here. And if we transported over here, let's see what we would have gotten. Uh, interesting. Oh, there's a relic here, which is cool. A bunch of villagers here too, as well. I think this would have been like a completely different game, actually. I imagine we'd be retaking the Latin Empire here. Uh... Yeah, this looks like the city of Constantinople. And honestly, it looks pretty difficult to deal with. They don't have a dock, which is interesting. Oh, no, no never mind. They do have three docks. So I wonder if we would have been allowed to build docks and potentially go for a sea attack. The hints did say that they couldn't be starved out, though. Which, to me, is honestly kind of stupid. Bunch of Gaia pavilions. Here's a barracks. Might have been fun to go this way. I think I prefer... I mean, the left route was good. It was very easy, so... Maybe the hard version is the right side? We'll see. But yeah, just uh, sending some trebs in, using cavalry archers to kill off the heavy infantry, and we're good. Cool. So with that, we actually have the Katyan Khan campaign finished. We're going at these at a good clip now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Until then, next time, my name is The Clever Fool. See you guys later.